Hey, it's Joe Tamarva from WedheadPumpRepair.com. All right, so you've probably seen me in step eight or probably step nine of how to rebuild your Hayward sewer pump. Now, if you haven't seen any of the videos, check them out. Um, now, you see in the other videos, I was removing all the stubborn and broken through bolts from this end mill. Okay, I was heating them up with a torch. So if you haven't seen that video yet and you're like, oh man, I have a broken through bolt, you could go out and check out the other videos and see how I remove these through bolts with a torch. Okay, this torch right here. All right. So now that I got my through bolts out, what I did was in the earlier videos, I grinded the tips. Before I took my motor apart, what I did was I took a grinder and I just grinded the edge off of the Dremel. Just like that. Okay, I grinded the edge off. And then what I did was I pulled the whole motor out with the tips. So now you say to yourself, well, I got these through bolts, but they have no ends on them. Where do I get new through bolts? Now, if you search in the internet, or maybe you probably found my YouTube video because you're like, wow, okay, here's this guy talking about through bolts. Most companies now don't even sell these through bolts. As a professional pump repair guy myself, I can't even find these. Most companies now don't even make them anymore because there's so few people rebuilding electric motors, it's not worth it for the factories to beg these. So I have a solution, which is kind of ingenious if you ask me. Now, everybody has a local Granger near them. Now, I'm not getting paid by Granger to say this, and I'm sure Granger will be like, wow, this we didn't even realize. But Granger actually sells threaded rod and machine thread because your through bolts are actually a machine thread. They're not actually a standard thread. So what you can do is you can go down to Granger. And you can buy yourself three foot sections of this size bolt. Now we're using a Hayward Super Pump here, so this is a 1024 machine thread. So now what I want to do is I've I've done this already. I've, I've measured here. Okay, this is a 10 inch. It's actually nine and like seven eighths, nine a little over. Yeah, about nine and seven eighths. So now I know that's about 10 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the next step how to put a nice nut on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this here and put it flush with my hands. Okay, I'm going to match it right up here, and I'm going to give myself an extra. I don't know half an inch to three, maybe three to a half an inch on the end. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is get my hacksaw, tighten my vise up a little, and I'm just gonna cut this bolt. Oh, watch this. All right, see that? So now I have my through bolt. So what I'm gonna do in the next step is I'm gonna Get some bolts on here, I mean some nuts. I'm gonna put some nuts on top of here and I'm gonna heat them up with a torch. I'm gonna smack the top of the, nut, the thread down and what that's gonna do is infuse the nut and then I use a nut driver and tighten these to the pump. All right, so if you need new through bolts, there's no reason to panic. You can go right to your local Granger. And these thread rods are actually pretty cheap. I think they're like three bucks for three feet, like a dollar a foot. And you know, that's actually cheaper than if you buy your own through bolt. All right, so this is Joe Tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And the next step, I'm gonna show you how to attach the nut to the top of your through bolts. Thanks for watching. Peace.